Jet the Far Shore, the latest game from Super Brothers, piqued my interest ever since its reveal at June 2020's PS5 showcase. But even as we've seen more from the space adventure, I'll admit that my interest was mixed with uncertainty. I didn't quite get what Jet would be like. But after a few hours with a PC build of the soon-to-be-released console exclusive for PS4 and PS5, as well as a game set for a PC launch, it's a serene and awe-inspiring adventure of exploration, discovery, and the mysteries waiting for us in the stars. During my few hours with Jet, primarily I was in control of a Jet. Well, it's a Jet with two T's on it. Jet's characters are a people built on a science meets religion venture to leave their home, explore space, and find the source of something known as the Him Wave. And my initial reaction to going on that journey and first taking control of this ship was simply wonder and awe. Piloting this miniature jet just above the surface of the water, or of any surface, is a consistent thrill and thankfully core to Jet's gameplay. The vehicle starts out fairly simple, with only the ability to turn its thrusters on or off. While having your engines fully activated, your jet's abilities to speed up, dodge roll, pulse the area around it, or hop into the air are all tied to a meter that needs to be monitored so you don't overheat the vehicle. That meter doesn't really feel like a hindrance over time, especially as, when we finally reached another planet's shores, vapor in this new atmosphere would temporarily cool the meter, allowing me to chain more speedy moves together without much worry. As a result, skimming the surface is pure bliss. Super Brothers has nailed a certain feel to the speed and movement of the jet that makes gliding along the open seas or through alien fields a zen-like experience that I just couldn't get enough of. Pulling on the left trigger allows you to take sharper turns while going at full speed, and the hop ability lets you quickly transition from zooming through a bog to skirting along its treetops. The movement system is singularly thrilling in a way I haven't encountered in some time. I appreciated additions as they were made, like a scanning system to obtain data of the new flora and fauna you encounter, or a grapple that lets the main character May pull in an alien seed and use its explosive qualities to clear out a new path. Jet's exploration really only falters when you need to make extremely finessed movements. With its engines off, the jet moves quite slowly, but you can turn what way it faces much more quickly, and finding the right balance out of, say, a crevice in the rocks can be a bit of a hassle. But that is, thankfully so far, a relatively small aspect of Jet's overall impressive gameplay. The thrill of gliding along, grabbing vapor as you go to chain together a lengthy run, feels like some wizardry that adapts the joy of a successful Tony Hawk or skate run and applies it to an otherworldly space ride. Without spoiling Jet's early story too much, May and the rest of the team do, eventually, arrive on an alien planet as they chase the Himwave signal, and players are, essentially, the first line of exploration. The early hours teach you the basics of scanning the environment, learning how to deal with friendly and aggressive local animal species, and the more treacherous side of trying to make a new planet home. May's part in it is unique to the others on the trip, and in that vaulted status, Jet can at times feel purposefully lonely. Particularly when you're out in the Jet. Yes, May has a partner with her on these outings, but Super Brothers' beautiful scenery and its muted color palette, along with the amazing soundtrack by Scientific, evokes such a sensation that you are merely a small part of something much more grand. There is so much more at work on these new, far shores from home. It can be equal parts scary and exciting to be so far away from home in space and time, but also completing a mission of massive importance to your people. Jet captures that in its grandeur, while more story-driven moments reinforce that with face-to-face -face conversations. The combination of it all leaves me absolutely fascinated to see where Jet's story goes next. The thrill and exhilaration of space travel, and the unknown dangers it presents as well are a mixture of feelings pop culture has often tried to capture. Jet is taking a somewhat surprising minimalist approach to it, but in doing so maximizes the emotions it's attempting to evoke. 
As May, I set out into the stars of Jet not quite knowing what to expect, but what I found consistently surprised and delighted me. For more on Jet, be sure to check out the latest gameplay from the upcoming Super Brothers release, and for everything else in the world of PlayStation, check out our weekly show, Podcast Beyond, for all the latest PlayStation news. And for everything else in the worlds of Jet the Far Shore, you're already in the right place, IGN. <laughs>